accepted. You can accept the report, okay? Um, the first story, here we go. Timid Boy and Mama Bear, that's the name of the book. It's a Pueblo legend, a Pueblo. Timid Boy and Mama Bear. Yes, very good. Timid Boy and Mama Bear, uh, a Pueblo. Pueblo is a village, Indian village in America. Let me show you another picture, actually. I'll explain to you. You cannot see? Maybe uh, now I can issues. see. Thank you, Now sir. you can see. I'll show you another picture. This is a picture of the world. Can you see it? Yes. 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 So I'll explain something. Listen carefully. Long time ago, some time ago, um, a long time ago, about 400 years ago or so, people... I'll draw a picture, okay? So you can see, it's a little uh, geography lesson. This is, um, this yeah. is, yes. This over here yeah. is Europe. This is Europe. Listen carefully, this is Europe. And people from Europe used to go to India. This is India over here, right above Sri Lanka. It's a small one, see like a teardrop. That's a Sri Lanka. It's very small, but people from Europe they used to go to India like this around Africa. So it took them a long time in the past to go to India by ship. They used to travel by big ships. Uh, but then people thought, what if we go around the world? What if we go around the world and go to India? They didn't know much about geography back then. They thought if they go Excuse this me. way. Yeah, I can't see. Sir, I can't see. Oh, if you cannot see, it's probably because of the connection issue. So if you wait, it will appear. Uh, if you cannot see now, you can watch a YouTube video later and you can watch it again. Okay, I'll share the link in the Schoology so you can always watch later if, you, if your connection is not good. Or if my connection is not good, you can watch later on YouTube. Now listen. Uh, so instead of going around Africa, this, this continent is called Africa over here. They thought if we go this way, we will... Uh, go all the way around the world and come to India. They didn't know that this continent existed back then. They thought, yes. I have. Yes, listen, listen carefully. So they didn't know about this continent. And so they thought if they go all around, they will come to India. And so people from, uh, from here, from Europe, they went this way they thought if we if we if we sail for a while we will end up in india and so they come here to this continent and their people their people they kind of have a red skin they have red skin and they call them indians even though they're not from india but they call them indians and in here they had villages and their villages were called pueblo villages and this is the story for us today okay Okay, let me, let's go back to the story. It's about villages in this continent, Indian villages, even though these people are not from India, it's about Indians. And their villages are called Pueblo. And this is the story for us today, a Pueblo legend. That's what we're talking about today, a Pueblo legend. That's the name. Timid boy and mama bear. Now, timid means kind of quiet, the one who doesn't talk much, timid boy and mama bear. Let's go to the next page. Uh, I'll read first, you listen, and then you will read, okay? Just listen first. Long ago, a young boy lived in a Pueblo village. He did not laugh. He did not play with the other children. The people called him timid boy. Timid means quiet, the one who doesn't uh, play much, doesn't talk much. His older brother ignored timid boy. Ignored means he didn't pay any attention to him. He didn't talk to him. He didn't play with him. Older brother would not teach timid boy how to win a foot race. They would run. They would have a foot race running on their feet. Uh, he would not help him. He would not teach him how to wrestle. They kind of had fighting. Uh, not real fighting, but in a playful way. Playful fighting, it's called wrestle, wrestling. But he, older brother, would not teach the timid boys. The timid boy couldn't play. He couldn't talk to anybody. He was probably very bored, like you're bored right now, staying at home and not seeing your friends. Let's read this page together on three. Everybody's ready? I'm going to watch you. If you're not reading, I'm going to call your name. Let's start. Ready? Go. 
Okay, thank you. Somebody's making noise. Who's making the noise? Please do not make a noise. That's not nice. Okay, do not make noise. Um, let's continue. Let's see what happened to this timid boy. Timid boy left the village early one morning. He walked the long path to the tall mountain. Pausing, pausing means kind of stopping at the foot of the mountain. Foot of the mountain is the bottom of the mountain. He saw two bear cubs. Now bear cubs are baby bears. Cubs is the name for the baby bear. He saw two bear cubs playing near a cave. He was halfway up the steep trail. Trail is like a road. Steep, the one that goes up high very suddenly. It was halfway up the steep trail. Timid boy climbed up the trail to the bear cubs. Don't be scared, little ones, he said. I won't hurt you. I will not hurt you, he said. Let's read. Everybody ready? Start. <laughs> Nanuka, Nanuka, you were not reading. Nanuka, Nanuka wasn't reading. I'll ask Nanuka to read. Nanuka, please read this page for us. Start. Don't be scared, little ones. He said, I won't hurt you. Don't be scared, little ones. He said, don't. Well, we have a lot of Nanukas. Atara, just Nanuka. Nanuka, can you read it for us, please? What? We should read together, right, Nanuka? Yeah. Everybody, when everybody reads, you should read together with them, okay? Do not look at other things. Read together. Let's go to the next page. Go to the next page. Suddenly, the huge mother bear roared out of the cave. Uh oh, he's in trouble. It's not just baby bears, but mother bear is there too. Timid boy took a big breath and pleaded his case. Pleaded his case means he explained what he's doing there and that he's not a danger to her, her babies, that he would not attack them. Please, he says, let me play with your children, mama bear. He said, I have no friends in the village. Mama Bear stared and sniffed. Stared means she looked at him and sniffed. With her nose, she sniffed. Let's read this page. Everybody read. If you're not reading, I will ask you to read alone. Ready, go. Good job, everyone. Yes pleaded his case right the word might be difficult for you yes pleaded his case okay, 
He asked her to stay. He asked her to allow him to stay with her babies because he doesn't have any friends in the village. He was very lonely, right? Because other children wouldn't be playing with him. Let's see what happened. She didn't eat him, as you can see. Her. Yes. Finally, she nodded her shaggy head. Yes, nodded. Means like this, move up and down. Shaggy means hairy, furry head. She has a lot of fur because she's a bear. Finally, she nodded her shaggy head. Yes, timid boy played with the cubs, baby bears, the rest of the day. They raced and wrestled and laughed. It was the best day of his young life. Timid boy decided to stay with the bears at the cave. He decided to live with them. He didn't have any friends in the village, but here, he had friends, baby bear friends. Let's read. Are you ready? Start. That's right. Very good. You can read very well. You're so good at reading. Let's see what happened next. Uh oh. What does it look like? It looks like the bears are attacking him, right? And who's this? Who do you think this is? Uh. His brother, right? Older brother? Yeah, it's his older brother. And he looks at his younger brother. Uh-oh, he says, uh-oh, what's happening there? The bears are eating him. Oh, no. Back in the village, older brother grew worried. Grew worried means he became more and more and more worried. His little brother had not come home for days. Where could he be? Is he lost? He went to the mountain and saw timid boy sleeping. There were two bear cubs by his brother's side. A huge mother bear watched over them all. Let's read together. Ready? Start. Back in the that's right. Okay, sir. Okay, good job reading everyone. Let's see what happened. What did older brother do? Will he have to fight with the bears? He probably thinks they're attacking his younger brother. Let's see. Older brother, we have some words here, arrows and bow, a bow and arrows, the weapons, right? Older brother ran back to the village. He ran very fast. He told the people what he had seen. I will bring back my brother, he told them. I will take my bow and my arrow. He wants to go and fight with the bears. Oh no. Is that a good idea? Probably not a very good idea, right? No, said. Diandra, please don't click on that button. No, said a leader of the people. This is the leader, the chief, right? They call them a chief. He's the leader of the people. Bears are our friends. Find another way to bring your brother. Do not fight with the bears. They are our friends. Can there be another way? Let's find out. First, let's read this page. Everybody ready? Go. Brother. 
Very good. Thank you. Let's see what's gonna happen. How can he bring his brother back? The oh, bears thanks. not go near them. The bears are dangerous. Here's bees. There's a hive, a beehive. Bees live in the hive. Here's smoke. What does he do with the smoke? Does he smoke cigarettes? <sighs> Probably not. Let's see what he's gonna do. Older brother thought of a plan. He's thinking, and finally he thought of a plan. What is his plan? He went to the place of the buzzing bees. Bzzz. Watch out for the buzzing bees. They're gonna sting you. Bzzz. He blew smoke into the largest hive. <sighs> He's blowing smoke. He blew smoke. The bees became calm. Calm means they didn't attack him. They didn't sting him. They were calm. They were kind of, after they smoke, a little bit of the smoke, they, they were tired. They were sleepy. They were calm. Older brother reached into the hive and took some honey. He took some honey from the bees, from the beehive. What is he going to do? Is he going to give it to the bears or to the, his brother? Or is he going to eat it himself? Let's read this page. Ready? Go. Older brother went to the place Right. Let's see what happened next. Let's see what happened next. There he is. There are the bears. It looks like they're eating something. What are they eating? Yes, it looks like they're eating something. They're eating honey, right? Older brother ran up the steep trail. Steep trail is the mountain that goes suddenly up high. He ran up. He came to the bear's cave. He placed the honey on a smooth rock and waited behind a tree. There, he put honey on the rock and he's hiding behind the tree. The bear family came out of the cave and began <laughs> licking the honey. Older brother snuck up, snuck up, comes from the word sneak up. He snuck up, he quietly went up to the cave and spoke fondly. Fondly means kindly in a nice way. He spoke kindly, fondly to his younger brother. Please come home with me, said older brother. I promise to show you how to have fun. Oh, now he says, come home. You will not be alone anymore. I will be with you. We'll be playing together. That's what he's saying. Let's read this together. Ready? Start. Older brother ran up a steep trail to the bear's cave. That's right. This word is fondly. Fondly means in a nice, kind, caring way. Because in the past, he wasn't speaking to him in a fond way, not fondly. He wouldn't talk to him. He wouldn't play with him. He wouldn't teach him. Now, he changed. The older brother changed. Let's see. Now, you can see that they're playing together. Now, his life changed. Now, he's got some real friends with real children, not with the bears. Can you see the picture? I'll read it to you. Timid boy said goodbye to his furry friends. Furry friends are friends with a lot of hair all over their body. Furry friends are bears. And returned to the Pueblo. Pueblo, again, is the village, the name of the Indian village, but not in India, but in the America, North America. Pueblo is the North American Indian village. Older brother taught him how to have fun. Taught 
comes from the word teach, teach taught. Timid boy played with the other children. He laughed and wrestled and ran. The people said he was a new boy. They gave him a new name. Now they called him bear boy, not a timid boy anymore. Now he is a bear boy. Let's read together. Ready, go. Good job. This is the end of the story. It seems it's the end of the story. Yeah. I hope you liked it. Did you like it? Was it a fun story? I think yes. you've learned. I love it. Yes. Yeah, you've learned a lot of interesting things. Yes. Uh, excuse me. I read that story already in the library chapter. Oh, you did. Uh, oh, that's very nice. I can't sneaking on you. Oh, I see. You've read it already. Well, it's good to read I some like stories story. again. You like the story? Great. I'm great. reading the Magic Tree House book. Yes, yeah, so now it's time for the Magic Tree House book. I'm going to share the screen with you and we'll continue. Let's, uh, let's review. Do you, remember? Do you remember what happened uh, in the previous chapters? Yes. Let me remind you, okay? Let's, let's, let's see what happened. Um, so, Annie and Jack were in a new world, in the, in, the, in the dinosaur world. They saw a couple of dinosaurs already. Tyrannodon was the first one. And then there was a triceratops with three horns. Yes. Uh, why we are all there doing Magic Tree House? Uh, because we need to finish it, then we can go to a different book. First, we have to finish this one. It's a longer story. Nate the Great was a shorter story. This one is a longer story. Once we finish it, we'll, do, we'll read something else, a different interesting story, okay? Maybe you don't like dragons, I mean, not dragons, dinosaurs very much, but we have to finish the story. We are already I'm so interested in dinosaurs and, archeo and archaeology. We'll just the study of dinosaurs. Uh, today we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna meet a couple, maybe one or two more new dinosaurs. We'll learn about them too. So let's read, okay? Without any further ado, I'm gonna start reading, and you listen carefully. Chapter six, Dinosaur Valley. Ooh, Annie, look at this. Look at what he found. Something in the grass. Remember what he found? A little circular around a medallion medallion that's right a golden medallion with letter m written on it golden look at this annie jack called look what i found annie had gone up to the hilltop she was busy picking a flower from the magnolia tree annie look a medallion but annie wasn't paying attention to jack she was staring at something on the other side of the hill what was she staring at Oh, wow, she said. Annie, clutching or holding her magnolia flower, she took off, means she started going down the hill. Annie, come back, Jack shouted. But Annie had disappeared. She went down. I'm going to kill her, Jack muttered. He's very angry with her. He's not really going to kill her, but it means he's very angry with her for not listening to him. He stuffed the gold medallion into his jean pocket. Then he heard Annie shriek. Shriek means scream loudly. Ah! Annie, why is she screaming? What happened? A T-Rex is eating her? Let's find out. Jack heard another sound as well. What sound did he hear? A deep bellowing sound, like a tuba. What is that? Jack, come here, Annie called. Annie. Jack grabbed his backpack and raced up the hill. When he got to the top, he gasped. <gasps> Why? The valley below was filled with nests, big nests made out of mud. And the nests were filled with tiny dinosaurs. 
tiny dinosaurs were there. There's a picture. You can see nests made of mud and they're tiny baby dinosaurs and eggs. But where are the mother dinosaurs? I wonder. I can't see them. Annie was crouching next to one of the nests. Hansana, do you have a question? Your hand is up. No? Okay, no questions. Annie was crouching next to one of the nests and standing over her was a gigantic duck-built dinosaur. I wonder what his name is. A duck, like he has a mouth like a duck mouth. That's what duck-built means. Don't panic, don't move, said Jack. He stepped slowly down the hill toward Annie. The huge dinosaur was towering above Annie, waving her arms, making her tuba sound. Mm. Jack stopped. He didn't want to get too close. You cannot hear me? Why can't you hear me? Connection issues, maybe? He knelt on the ground. Okay. Move toward me slowly, he said. Annie started to stand up. Don't stand up. Crawl, crawl like a dog on all fours, said Jack. Clutching her flower, Annie crawled toward Jack. What's going to happen? The duck-built dinosaur followed her, still bellowing. Annie froze, means she stopped moving. Keep going, Jack said softly. Annie started crawling again. Jack inched farther down the hill until he was just an arm's distance from Annie. He reached out and grabbed her hand. He pulled Annie toward him. Stay down, he said. He crouched next to her. Bow your head like this. Pretend to chew like a cow. Chew? Yes, I read. That's what you do if a mean dog comes at you. If an angry mean dog comes at you, you have to bow your head and you have to pretend to chew. Why? I don't know. She's no dog, Jack, said Annie. She's a dinosaur. Will that work? Just chew, said Jack. Chew. Now, chew doesn't mean singhala chew. Chew means to move your mouth up and down like this, right? That's chewing. <laughs> Jack and Annie both bowed their heads like this and pretended to chew. Soon the dinosaur grew quiet. He started, he stopped making sounds. Jack raised his head. I don't think she's mad anymore, he said. Thanks, Jack, for saving me, said Annie. You have to use your brain, said Jack. Think, you can't just go running to a nest of babies. There's always a mother nearby, like those bears, baby bears in the previous story. Their mother wanted to protect them, and now the dinosaur mothers wanted to protect them. Annie stood up. Annie, too late. Annie held out her magnolia flower to the dinosaur. Here, dinosaur, eat the flower. Annie's always doing something like that, doesn't she? She's very brave or very foolish, I don't know. I'm sorry I made you worry about your babies, she said. The dinosaur moved closer to Annie. She grabbed the flower from her. She reached for another. No more, no more flowers, said Annie. The dinosaur let out a sad tuba sound. Hmm. <laughs> but there are more flowers up there, Annie said. She pointed to the top of the hill. I'll get you some. Annie hurried up the hill. The dinosaur waddled after her. Waddled means walk like a duck or like a penguin. Jack quickly examined the babies. Examined means he studied them. He looked at them like a scientist. He examined them. Some were crawling out of their nests. Where were the other mothers? Only one mother was there. How about other mothers? They didn't see them. Jack took out the dinosaur book. He flipped through the pages. He found a picture of some duck-billed dinosaurs. He read the caption, the little uh, note in the book. And the name of the dinosaur is, here it is, the Anatosaurus. The Anatosaurus is the name of the duck-billed dinosaur. The Anatosaurus lived in colonies. Colonies means, means big groups of dinosaurs living together. 
while a few mothers babysat the nests, others hunted for food. Oh, so other mothers are looking for food and this mother is taking care of the babies. So there must be more mothers close by. Hey, Jack, and he called. Jack looked up and he was at the top of the hill feeding magnolia flowers to the giant Anadosaurus. She's nice too, Jack. And he said, is she nice? But suddenly the Anadosaurus made her terrible tuba sound. Mm. And he crouched down and started to chew. The dinosaur barged down the hill and started running. The dinosaur started running down the hill. Why? Where is he going? There it is. There is the Anadosaurus. Looks like a duck over here, but it has uh, the body of the dinosaur and the bill of a duck, a duck built dinosaur. Again, he only eats plants, doesn't eat meat. She seemed afraid of something. What is she afraid of? Why is she running down the hill? Is she going to attack Jack, who is at the bottom of the hill? Or protect the babies? Or what? Let's find out. There's Annie. Annie suddenly got down and started chewing. <laughs> Don't chew the grass, though, Annie. And Jack is running toward Annie. What's happening? Jack put the book down on top of his pack. He hurried up to Annie. What's happening? What is the matter? What is the problem? What is the Anadosaurus afraid of? What is the danger? A volcano erupting or another dinosaur, dangerous dinosaur nearby? Let's see. I wonder why she ran away, said Annie. We were starting to be friends. Jack looked around. What he saw in the distance almost made him throw up. Mm. Almost why? Something scared him so much he wanted to throw up. What was it? And enormous 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 means very 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 big ugly monster was coming across the plane what was the monster he was walking on two big legs and swinging a long thick tail and dangling two tiny I know, arms. So it's a raptor. let's see he had a huge head, a very big head, and his jaws, his mouth, jaws were wide open. He Listen. Listen, even from far away, Jack could see his long, gleaming teeth, sharp teeth. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex, whispered Jack. T Rex is short for Tyrannosaurus because Tyrannosaurus is a very long word. People just say T and Rex. T-Rex is shorter. Tyrannosaurus Rex, whispered Jack. Uh-oh, what's going to happen to them? T-Rex is going to attack them. Let's read one more chapter to find out whether T-Rex is going to eat Jack and Annie. Let's read. Let's read. Chapter 7, ready, set, go. Run, Annie, run, cried Jack. To the tree house. They're running back to the tree house from the T-Rex. They dashed down the hill. Dashed means they ran down the hill together through the tall grass, through the ferns, what? past the Tyrannodon and right to the rope ladder. Somebody's asking a question? No. No? They scrambled Why? up. Yeah. Hmm. Sorry, what? Netuli? Why is why is Jack crying? She's crying. Oh, <laughs> cry here doesn't mean <laughs> cry. Cry also means to scream loudly. Run, Annie, run. This is crying too. A different meaning of the word crying. Not crying, but crying. Okay? Same thing. <laughs> Same word for two different meanings. They scrambled up. Means they moved up quickly. The letter. Seconds later, they tumbled. Tumbled into the treehouse. Sorry, what? It means weeping. Yeah, that's a different word for crying, weeping. Oh, Annie leaped to the window. She jumped to the window. He's going away, she said, panting. <sighs> panting is not pants. Panting means to breathe hard. After you run, you pant like this. <sighs> Annie was panting. 
He's going away. The dinosaur, the T-Rex, is going away. Jack pushed his glasses into place. He looked through the window with her. The T-Rex was wandering off. But then the monster stopped and turned around. Duck, said Jack. Now, duck doesn't mean quack, quack. Duck means to go down, to bow down, to hide down. Duck, said Jack. The two of them hunched down, and after a long moment, they raised their heads. They picked out again out, out of the window. Coast clear. Coast clear means I cannot see the T-Rex anymore. It's not there. Coast clear, said Jack. Yay, whispered Annie. We have to get out of here, said Jack. You made a wish before, said Annie. I wish we could go back to Frog Creek, said Jack. Nothing happened. Hmm, how do they go back? What do they need to go back home? Just to make a wish? Or maybe to use a book? I wish, wait, you were looking at a picture in the dinosaur book, remember? The dinosaur book, Jack groaned. Oh no, I left the book and my pack on the hill. I have to go back. He doesn't have his backpack and the book with him. He left it there where the Anna, who? Anna, Anna, I forgot the name. <laughs> Anatosaurus. Yes, Anatosaurus, where the, the old nests were. That's where he left his backpack and the book. Just to go back there to get his backpack and the book. Oh, forget it, said Annie. I can't, said Jack. The book doesn't belong to us. Plus, my notebook is there in my backpack with all my notes. Hurry, said Annie. Jack hurried down the rope ladder. He leaped to the ground. He jumped to the ground. He raced past the pteranodon, through the ferns, through the tall grass, and up the hill. He's up on the hill now. He looked down. There was his pack lying on the ground. On top of it was the dinosaur book. But now the valley below was filled with anatosauruses. All the mothers were there now, all standing guard around nests. Oh no, many, many anatosauruses are there protecting the children. Where had they been? Did fear of the Tyrannosaurus send them home? Jack took a deep breath. <sighs> Ready, set. Go! He charged down the hill. He started running down. He leaped to his backpack. He scooped it up. He grabbed the dinosaur book. A terrible tuba sound. Mm, another, another. All the anatosauruses were bellowing at him. They were screaming at him. But they didn't attack him, just screaming. Jack took off. He raced up the hilltop. He started down the hill. He stopped. Oh, the Tyrannosaurus Rex was back and he was standing between Jack and the treehouse. Oh no, what happened? I'll draw a picture so you can understand better. So here is the tree, right? And the treehouse is there in the tree. This is the treehouse. And Annie is inside the treehouse. And here is the hill. And behind the hill, there are all the anatosauruses. And here's Jack. Legs, arms, backpack, book. <laughs> and here is a T-Rex with a big head and a big mouth full of teeth. Does it look like T-Rex? Maybe I'm not a very good, I cannot draw pictures very well. With big legs and tiny arms and sharp teeth. <laughs> no, I'm not really good at drawing, right? And, and Jack is like, and look at, look at Jack's eyes. He's like, oh no, look how big his eyes are. He's afraid now. Oh no. And there's, and there's Annie over there. Annie is looking out. Jack. And there's T-Rex. What is he going to do? What is he going to do? Does T-Rex have these kind of spikes all over him? I'm not sure, but let's draw it. Okay, maybe he does. Yeah. Maybe he does. Yeah. Yes. Uh oh. Yes. 
yeah. he's between Jack and between the tree with the tree house. house what is bikes. he gonna do? Does he have to go back up the hill to another Zorus's? He cannot go this way because T-Rex is there. What is Jack going to do? Well, we'll find out next week because our time is over now. So this is it for today. I hope you had fun. We'll find out what happened to Jack and any and what will yes. T-Rex do next time. Okay? <laughs> Hopefully they will make it through. Hopefully they can get back home. But T-Rex is very dangerous. It's a dangerous animal. Do not get eaten by T-Rex. Do not go back in time 65 million years ago. Okay? All right. I'll see you next week. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. You can show something. Bye. 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 <laughs> what is that? A baby squirrel, isn't it? Is it a baby squirrel? Bye. 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 Bye.